In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an outline around somebody in your photos right inside of Adobe Photoshop. So let's get right into it. So yes, once we're inside of Adobe Photoshop and we have a photo imported, we can go ahead and start by unlocking it from the background. So we'll press the padlock icon. And then from there, we just want to go ahead and we want to draw a mask around the person. So we can do this one of two ways. So you can either go up to the polygonal lasso tool and you can draw a mask all the way around your person. The problem is with this though, is it can be a little bit finicky and a little bit awkward trying to get that perfect. So I choose not to do it this way. So I'm gonna hold command and D to deselect that mask. And we're gonna to go to the quick selection tool. Now, I'm gonna increase the brush size from 24 all the way up to around 100. And then I'm gonna go on to the image and I'm just gonna draw within myself on the composition. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hold left on the mouse and I'm just gonna paint over myself on the picture. Now it's really important that the mask does not go outside the person. If it does, then you can just go ahead and erase that by holding option on the keyboard. Or if you need to add in a part to the mask, you just hold shift and then you just go ahead and draw over parts of the image that you want to include within the mask. Now, from here, you want to hold command C and command V that will copy and paste that mask inside of its own layer. So if we deselect the background, we press the eyeball icon, you can see we've got the person in the foreground. Now, I'm gonna zoom into myself and as you can see, unfortunately, that ear is not perfect. If I turn the background layer back on, you can see the ear was not copied in that first mask. So I'm gonna select the background layer one more time, that is layer zero. Go to the quick selection tool, draw over the ear, and again, we're gonna hold command C and command V. And now the ear is in its own layer. But if we turn layer one back on, you can see we've got the whole of myself isolated from the background. So we'll select both of those layers, hold shift, making sure both are selected, not the background, that is the person and the copied layer. We'll right click, and then we'll go up to convert to smart object. So those two layers have been merged into one layer. Now from here, I'm going to right click on layer one. We'll go up to blending options and inside of the layer style tab, we can go down to stroke. And if we go into stroke, we can increase the size. And as you can see, that's going to add the stroke around the inside of the person. Of course, if you didn't want this to be inside and you wanted this to be outside the person, then you can change position from inside to outside, or you could select center, but I'm going to select outside. Now you can go down to your blend mode and you can change the blend mode if you fancy, but I'm going to keep this at normal. You can reduce the opacity or increase the opacity by simply pulling on this tab. And of course you can change the color if you like. If you go to fill type, you can change this from color to gradient to pattern. So if we select gradient, then you can go ahead and you can add different color gradients in the overlay. Or if we change the fill type to pattern, then as you can see, we've got all of these different patterns to choose from and we can have a pattern within the stroke. But I'm just gonna keep it set to color. I'm gonna decrease the size of this. We'll press okay. And then we'll turn on layer zero. So that is the background layer. We'll turn that back on. And as you can see, you have a perfect stroke surrounding your person right inside of Adobe Photoshop. So there you go. The next time you want to add a stroke around somebody on your photos, then this is how you do the process right inside of Adobe Photoshop. So if you feel like this video helps you at all, or if you feel like you learned something, or if you enjoyed it, then please do let me know in that comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you are subscribed, then I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.